How you doing folks, it's Nick here again, and today, uh, it's been actually quite a long time since I have uh, done all my Dahatsu Copen videos, but today we will be recharging the air conditioning gas in my 2005 Daihatsu Copen. Uh, you can do this at home, the kit costs you roughly uh, about 100 euro, uh, you can get them cheaper, and you will need one of these uh, trigger dispensers, which also includes focus you fuck, um, pressure gauge, uh, and the low side port clip, you don't do this on the high side port, uh, air conditioning units have two sides, they have the high side, which in the Daihatsu Copen is right here next to the pressure sensor, and is marked with an H, H, uh, this is the viewing window to see you know, if there's any bubbles in the system and whatnot, and then the low side port is actually hidden, and in my case, is hidden behind my Tanabe strut tower, so it's right here, so I'm going to need to remove this from both ends, and uh, memory says right these are 14 mil bolts and uh, remove it and attach the uh, attach the meter onto it so we can find out this is with the engine off of course uh, the instructions are in the manual um, in the manual for the for the for the goo that you put into the car with the with the engine turned off you plug it in to the low side port see what the pressure is and then start the air conditioner run it for a few minutes and your air conditioner I don't know if you can see it, but right there is the magnetic clutch for the air conditioner. And it's powered by well, off the belt from here. Um, so if that's spinning when the air conditioner is turned on, you, you know that the uh, compressor is working perfectly fine. And you can proceed with this. But we'll go over this in a second. I thought I'd just say that, you know, if you have the Tanabe strut tower, you certainly need to remove it first. It's going to be a, oh, it won't be a pain in the ass, but it'll be a bit annoying. Uh, so I'll see you in a second. With the uh, strut towers out of the way, it took two seconds. Uh, you need to remove the dust cover from the low side cap, which I'm going to do now. Hopefully I won't drop it. Uh, and there you can see. So the pressure port on this guy, on the meter itself, will only connect into the um, low side port. You don't need to worry about accidentally putting it into the high side port. So I'm going to do that now, and then I'll take a reading of the uh, of this pressure gauge, and if it's down, you know, where it is now, 0 to 5 psi, then probably means something's fucked and just bring it to a mechanic. Low, you need to charge it yourself, filled, perfectly fine, you can fill it up yourself, up as high as you pretty much want to go, up to that 40 line, and then anything above that's a bit dangerous, so we'll get back to you in two seconds. So, uh, with it installed, or with it connected, and there's obviously no can attached, we're getting up to, we'll say, 50-ish, so that's obviously uh, an alert. Uh, but the car hasn't been running, so keep that in mind. So what I'm going to do now is disconnect the high pressure port or the low pressure port, and then turn the AC system on. First off, we'll be able to see what the temperature inside the car is and how the AC should be working, and dropping it down. And then uh, we can also have a look at the magnetic clutch engaging. So see you in a sec. You might be just about able to see it, but the um, the air conditioner. Uh, compressor which is right there uh, you can see it's spinning so uh, the air conditioner is working the compressor is working so leave it run for a few minutes and uh, it's normal for it to turn itself off and on again don't worry about that uh, so we'll leave it running for a few minutes uh, just to build up pressure in the system and, and whatnot we'll see you in a sec i've been running for uh, about five ten minutes uh, while i was doing other stuff around uh, just making sure it was ready for its ndt got down to about 19 degrees from roughly 22. Like the, the, the air coming out of it is relatively cold, but it's not super, put it that way. Um, so what I'm gonna do now is, I have disconnected the port already. So it's been running for a while. I'm gonna connect the port, see what the gauge reads. And if it's, you know, if it's, if it's below what it should be, then um, do the needful, so to speak. Uh, the instructions are on the can. I can put a link in the doobly-doo to the one that I got and uh, it's really simple so uh, yeah next step is turn off the car connect the uh, hose to the low pressure port again and then see what the, what the gauge reading is so i'll be back in a sec uh, so it's been running for a while focus you fuck and uh, as you can see it would have connected to the, the high pressure port or the low pressure port rather and the uh, the engine turned on the ac is set to, to full blast but you can see that it's low so the next step now will be to uh, turn the engine off because you need to turn the engine off in order to screw on this uh, on, on the bottle and then we'll simply follow the instructions on the bottle which is very very simple very straightforward so we'll be back in a second that's it attached with the uh, with the bottle attached as you can see it's sealed back down to the uh, needs to be filled mark so you uh, hold the bottle hold it at 12 position 
a few seconds, give it a shake, 12, 3, constantly rotating. Don't keep holding onto the trigger the whole time, you know, you squeeze it, let go, squeeze it, let go, squeeze it, let go, until it hits the uh, green mark. So I'm going to do that now and I'll see you in a sec. That's it done. So I've removed it already, went up to the uh, to the green mark in the canister. So uh, I took about 10 minutes, not too bad. And uh, one thing you should note is this wee little viewing window, you'll know for a fact if your AC coolant is low, because you'll see bubbles fly past. Um, I wish I had taken a video of that, but I've one-handed. Uh, regular car reviews did show me this, uh, he tweeted it to me, this uh, mount that you can mount on your head and I can use my phone to record. So I actually might get one of those, it might be a bit handy. Uh, so the only thing left is to put the uh, dust cover back on, the low pressure port. And uh, the temperature did go down to, oh I turned the engine off, it went down from about 20ish to about 15, so that's not too shabby. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Take it slowly, uh, squeeze the trigger, shake, squeeze, uh, keep doing that over and over again, and Bob's your uncle. As always, it's been a pleasure. I hope to get to see you again soon. Bye.